Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Welcome back to Pitch Shot, everybody! Yeah. We're joined by the Rixon lads. You've got Ollie Palmer back on the show. He was on a live stream. Yeah. Just Couldn't te- get enough. Technically, it's your second, second yeah. time. Yeah. But uh, debutant Elliot Lee and Mark Howard. I've been on your podcast. Yeah, she's so been I feel, on mine. I feel like this is like a... Reciprocated. Yeah, reci- nice. Reciprocation. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Reciprocation. Uh, we've got to say as well, obviously, we're not in the Pitch Side studios. Uh, we are <laughs> Whoa. if you can't quite tell <laughs> yeah. uh, we got to say thank you to Cardinal Park Hotel for sorting us out so and also we've actually had a really good time here we've, me and, me and Reva have been in the spa this morning Yeah, we're kicking things off with the good old fashioned quick fire how it'll work I'll read one and then you guys answer it in a row kicking things off with cats or dogs 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 Nice. Really? Yeah, okay. Straight up dogs. Clean Interesting. Clean. We, we you fa- couldn't have picked more dog people to yeah. come on the show. <laughs> really? Do you want <laughs> dogs? You've all got dogs. Cats. You got that dog. You hate yeah. cats? I hate cats. Yeah. With a passion? Yeah. Just yeah. We, found a, we found a cat the other day in Snowden. All right, don't care. Don't care about it. Interesting cat. story, actually. Yeah. Don't care about it. Okay. Cat. <laughs> 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 uh, quick, quick for it. Uh, pasta or pizza? <laughs> Pasta. Pizza. Pasta. Nice. Yeah, I feel like you you both are lying when you say pasta though. Nah. Pasta. No. There's no, no way you like pasta. No, no, carbonara pizza. or like Ooh. a sea fish linguine. Lovely. Yeah. Sea fish linguine? Yeah. Tell you what is good, a little salmon Some pasta with broccoli and chili. Linguine. Yep, seafood linguine. <laughs> <laughs> What, what do we say? Sea fish. Did I say sea fish? Yeah, you repeat yeah. it. Yeah, you just repeat it. You got sea fish. I feel like I'm turning it to Lewis. All right, next up we got beer or cider. Beer. 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 What's yours, Ruth? Cider. <coughs> Why is that wrong? Huh? <laughs> uh, this is a controversial one. Messi or Ronaldo? If you asked me before the World Cup, I would have said Ronaldo, but you, I have to go Messi now. He's got that. But World we, Cup. You bet. <laughs> Sorry, it's not quick fire. Well, Messi. Yeah, 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 come on. It's <laughs> no, 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 fine, it's fine. <laughs> Messi. Messi. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> we'll see what Messi's doing age 39. Uh, Deadpool or Always Sunny in Philadelphia? <laughs> well, I've only seen Deadpool, so Deadpool. Um, well, Are yeah. you seeing this, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Are you witnessing this? <laughs> Too busy to watch every episode. Do you know how many episodes Rob's got of that show? It's Thousands? going to be like the longest running yeah, show I've ever. Some, I've watched some of them, most of them. That's a great uh, answer. Uh, Deadpool. Oh. <laughs> it's still Deadpool. <laughs> I can't believe we're hearing this. Outrageous. <laughs> you just bought us here to shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Bootlegger or Lewis Bowden? I don't know who Lewis Bowden is. Bootlegger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have worked any better. Yeah, it perfect. A little par. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Who is it? No camera today. Though. Bootlegger. Bootlegger. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go so red. Hang on. Hang on. They've met you. They know who you are now. And they still <laughs> said Bootlegger. Have you lot... Uh, have any of you like met Have mics off now? No, <laughs> no, I've not met him. I've spoken uh, to him a few times. He's a funny guy. Do you ever hear him in the crowd? <laughs> the one guy. Well, I've, you know. <laughs> I've heard he doesn't come to that many games anymore. I could I, be wrong, but I've heard he doesn't come to too he many He has games. like a beer company or something, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, with beer. Wrexham Lager. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be really good beer as well. Um, bootleg as well. I actually, Wrexham Lager's really nice. I had a Snowden Lager the other day. Mm. It was really good. You haven't mentioned that you climbed snow. Yeah, God, God, I don't know if you know, I actually climbed a mountain the other day. Uh, not in or not out. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> not in, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Not in. Yeah. Not in. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Getting old. Like, one down. Down. Yeah. One yeah. I'll see over 30, is that question? Yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, we got who's better at football? Ryan or Rob? I'll say Rob because he wears the kit. Yeah, I've never seen it. You've never seen it. I saw the documentary when Rob put the kit on. Yeah, that's, what, yeah. that's all I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, just the man that wears we the full kit. We picked earlier on. We'll pick Rob now. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's yeah, too fair. Uh, and then finally, Guardiola or Klopp? Guardiola. That's easy. Guardiola. Yeah, same. Guardiola. Okay. There's a lot of people calling for Klopp out at the moment. You know, who, who do you like? Who do you like support? United. Newcastle. Oh. Spurs. Newcastle. Ooh, Big man. game. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did you get into the sport in Newcastle? Well, uh, I don't know. I just <laughs> Something to do with your dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's why he's here. Yeah, That's okay. He's here. How do you think Newcastle are going to do at the weekend? Do you think they got, do you think they got the minerals with Carrius in goal? Yeah, I would have I fancied our chance a lot more with Pope in goal. But 
we are playing well at the minute and we're organised and I do think we have more of a chance than people think. Do you not think Carrius has a bit of a redemption arc about him? Like, he's actually a really good keeper. He's just had one yeah. mistake. That's what I mean, one mistake and, and two. The, well, two, yeah. Two, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in yeah. such a big game, people <laughs> yeah. don't forget it, do they? But no, he's going to be a good keeper. It's just up to He that. actually kept, didn't he have the most clean sheets in Champions League up until that, in until that the season, final? In that season. In that five, season. And the rest have four. But Liverpool were very good at that point though, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How yeah. do you think, Mark, obviously as a goalkeeper as well, how do you think Carrius going into that final will be feeling? Do you think he'll be like, this is my time to shine? Or do you think he'll be like, uh-oh, this could happen again? No, it is time to shine. He's got to think like that. Yeah. Uh, if he goes the other way, Christ, yeah. it's going to be a hard game. Yeah. yeah, he has to think about actually playing and showing people that he still is a good goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have put a lot of crap to his name as well. So yeah. to dig himself back out of that hole, I think just one game can do that. Yeah. Do you, well, do you think realistically, do you think any professional footballer at that level has the second mentality? No, surely, but I, I know. But I, I, no, but sure, confidence is a massive thing in football. Though. Yeah, of course. Like, surely you guys have expe- like during your career, you've experienced like self doubt and stuff. Well, during I think it. all footballers, yeah. I don't think it, to be. Yeah. Fair, I don't think. I think it's, it's just humans, isn't it? Full stop. Really. Yeah. So if that comes into it, but he's. That's where it comes into a men- it's more mentality than mm. anything else. You've got to have that mentality. Because mm. if you don't believe in yourself, why is anyone else going to believe in you? So Well, look, look at Marcus Rashford at the moment. Like before, Prior yeah, to the World Cup, exactly. people were calling for him to leave United. And then since then, he's found this form and confidence. And he's like unstoppable at the moment. I could be one of the best players in the world. Yeah, 100%. Who, who do you think is the best keeper in the world right now? I still think Alisson. Just to go against your yeah. comment from a couple of weeks ago. Nah, I, I think most people agree. I not, think, even, not even just to no, I think you. I think I think, he's, I think he's the best goalie in the world. No, ah, come on. <laughs> I did. Give him the overrated said, then. Alisson's overrated. And he's got a lot of sticks for it. And then he sort of basically gave Real Madrid a goal. And then I had the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I do actually think Alisson's very good in goal. I can't lie. I think Oblak's up there as well. I think Still? Yeah, people yeah. forget about him. Really, people, his clean sheet ratio is a joke for Atletico. There was one season where he was... He fell off it a bit then, didn't it? I think it was 20, 21, 22, wasn't it? Oh, he probably only kept 25 clean sheets. Yeah, yeah so realistically. So staying on goalkeepers, Aaron Ramsdale, obviously you know him very well. How do you think he's doing this season? Do you think he's England's number one at the moment? Like, is I it think t- he's been unbelievable. I think to dethrone Pickford from the England jersey is going to be a, a tough ask. I think he'll admit that himself. I think he should. I think he should be playing. you think it's time for him? Yeah, I think he should. If you're going off form and what's... How's he going to do what Pick, Pickford's doing in the England team if he's not playing. Mm. So if you said, you know, if you were a manager and, you know, you're the manager of Chelsea and you're signing two new keepers, who would you start in that team? Week in, week out. Would you start Pickford or would you start Ramsdale? Do you think that as an England manager, because I, I think Ramsdale is, should be the one that should step up now because, you know, he's younger. But you watch and, him more though. I know, I know, but I know Pickford's unbelievable. And yeah, especially yeah. when yeah, he, he's like Harry Maguire, when he puts an England shirt on, they become like this, like, Superhuman yeah, yeah. for the, for the team. You can't their form for that team. Either. Yeah, you have. England, I think clubs Harry Maguire, Jordan Pickford don't let their country down. Yeah. No, they don't. So I think that's a hard one to just say. Yeah, it, it, Aaron does deserve a chance, but and also the next tournament is in a year's time. Yeah, so you never know what what they're going into it. What about like Nick that? Pope? Put Newcastle down for <laughs> one minute. No, but they've got the best <laughs> defense in the league. Yeah, <laughs> best defense in the league. Do you think it's a I, blessing in disguise that we've got a lot of top, top keepers yeah. for England at the moment? I played with Nick Pope for England Colleges. I don't even know what it is or what we were doing, but he, you know, to say he's had some rise is incredible. To oh, was he was he nothing special in terms of goalkeepers at that point? Or? He, yeah, he wasn't. Really? What he is now, that's for sure. And it's, it's amazing to see, to be honest. It's yeah. amazing to see how someone can grow like that. And that, again, that's confidence. He went to Cholton, did well. Where did he go after Cholton? Can you, can you, Burnley. Burnley, Burnley uh, did well, and it's obviously great to see someone like that. Where, you know, I wasn't you know, he's not my friend, but an yeah. acquaintance in a nice <laughs> way, and and it's, it's nice to see someone go from that age at eighteen to yeah. now an experienced Premier League goalkeeper fighting for an England shirt. Yeah, so it's a massive credit to him. He's, you know, he's always a lovely lad as well. I'm sure he is now. He's not my football friend. <laughs> not, we're not friends. I'm saying we ain't friends. <laughs> 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 so obviously keepers get like a lot of stick from the crowd because they're just predominantly closer to the crowd yeah, yeah. Have, have you lot ever heard something like oh I've got to react like, do you get what's your, yeah, all the time but goalkeepers you got to remember are anti-football we're anti-fun we're trying to stop people from scoring goals yeah 
football's all about. Oh, he's no one actually enjoys it. Thought about that. I've never heard that. That's true, though. We are. We, we're anti-fun. You're anti-fun football. every day, mate. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I'm. That's when I'm awake. <laughs> Do you give any back? No, nah, not to fans. Not worth it. I enjoy it. Getting heckled. I think it makes you like. Rise a bit more, get, yeah. you get a bit more belief about yourself. But there are keep, there's, there's some interact. keepers that do do that. Yeah, yeah, Rambo does. Yeah, exactly. He, yeah, does. Yeah, he gets yeah, he laps out. He loves yeah. it. But I think then he uses that energy to then turn the fans against their own team, which is an amazing quality. Mm. Yeah. Like he, he gets their fans going, and as soon as St. Negative happens to like the opposition fans, they then turn on them. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. I think I've done a bit of that, which is a, a unbelievable mm. thing to be able to do yeah well but as like you know playing a bit more further up the pitch do you ever get the opportunity to hit like maybe going for a throw in does it ever like rattle you at all I don't know if it rattles you definitely do hear a few shouts though. from the away yeah. fans not at all like, I don't think that rattles anyone does it what if you hear heckling from away no, fans no I think you expect it from the away fans it's more when it's not going well for yeah. your team and like yeah. you're getting off your own fans <laughs> yeah that, that, that is when it can fans. obviously come into effect yeah. Yeah. Well, you, fans lift you you mentioned it when you were at um, Mansfield right yeah, yeah yeah. did you remember that or did you watch our podcast back <laughs> no we remember it yeah, yeah. yeah. Our, our I, I got fucking I got booed coming on yeah <laughs> by my own fans oh, yeah. yeah yeah I was old <laughs> 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 I'm not, oh, talking, I'm not talking about my experiences anymore. <laughs> oh, you know what, about? Oh. <laughs> what about fellow <laughs> players? <laughs> no, but it, it, like when you get it off your own fans, it is different. It is something you learn to deal with because it's not always going to be plain sailing, is it? But when you get it off away fans, it's just. What, what about when you're actually on the pitch? Like, it, you know, it's all different levels. Every time I play Sunday League, there's always people on the other pitch that are just trying to get at you. They're just like nibbling in your ear, saying shit. Are you? Do you guys get that? Do you give it? As in the other players? Like yeah. Um, yeah, I think it depends who you're up against. Some players that like, might get them going, like they have, a, they have a little digs at you and that, and then you just like I, I, I use a technique. I just laugh and I just have a bit of banter with them. Yeah. That's all. I don't really get properly angry at them unless they really annoy me, but. I think that's what they want to do. They try and they try and make you angry in that. So I just try and I just laugh. Laugh. I'll give it out a bit. Yeah. You yeah. tell me to shout sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I, 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 I get, tell him to fight that. I do want to address I, something quite relevant. Um, what did Billy Sharp reference to when he said you no, one no one knows? Oh, no really? One knows. Okay. No one quite, knows yeah. what Billy Sharp was going on about. So nothing's happened on the pitch so room TV in the Nothing. Game. Listen, the whole Sheffield United squad was so respectful towards us on the pitch you know we just come off the pitch the first game what like everyone was ledged they were kind of talking yeah. to it was all friendly as competitive as it was it was still you know they were still respectful towards us in the next game absolutely fine yeah and then Billy Sharp's obviously giving all that to our fans you think mate we're a non-league team and you're celebrating mm, like you've just yeah, been yeah. Monday night so it come out of nowhere it was and like, even it was like he genuinely thought that we as a team, we're going there thinking, yeah, we're just going to turn Sheffield United over to the top of this. Smush second in chair. his head. And then when he goes straight to Spurs, when not one of us ever yeah. thought that. Every interview was like, yeah. Sheffield United are unbelievable. Like, we're going to be an unbelievable yeah. Yeah. No one knows. Yeah. We don't you know. know. We're going to have a go. That's <laughs> it, it. Was, it was but so It's like random. in his head, he thought, oh, we're going to go there and we're just going to turn them up. That was never our mentality yeah, at all. Like. But he's quite an experienced, like, yeah, he very, he's been around, yeah. very experienced. He's got himself as well. He's just kicking off. I don't know. It didn't help, though, that our dressing room was opposite the media. So as soon as he got put, brought in to do his questioning, our dressing room was opposite. So obviously we were still in the tunnel. He was going to... Uh, it all kicked it, off in the tunnel as well. Yeah. Did it? So again, walking off the pitch, everyone shook hands. Players are talking to each other. There's shirt swapping going on. Out of nowhere, right? So you, we go that way. Sheffield United go that way. Out of nowhere, Billy Sharp shouts, stick that up your documentary. So everyone's like, what, what the fuck? What the fuck are you going? And by the way, he was just talking to one of the lads, like saying, well done, good game. Yeah. And then shattered that. So obviously, people are like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then it all just kicked off in the tunnel. And then he did his uh, post-match yeah. prep. It was just, no one knows. <laughs> no one knows where it comes from. So, so, no do you reckon that's out. just like a lack of like... I think it's, frust I think it's just frustrated. Yeah. I think with yeah, how... Yeah, he liked how far we actually took him and we are yeah. a league club. Maybe he's frustrated. Game like a run, frustrated. Yeah, something we yeah. have to go and... Fair but you'd, you'd, like see, you'd like to see him go fair play to Wrexham like that yeah. was yeah, two was great test, games it, was, it wasn't it wasn't to be like it was had a bit of a sour taste at the end but it's always as soon as like 
like it, uh, again Sunday League like when I did like a Sunday League thing we'd get because so, we had cameras and stuff around it you automatically get so much shit and people want to try and beat you more yeah Do you, like, but, it's, but he, Billy Sharp is like this massive like he's been around the world so it's interesting that he's reacted like that yeah no I, think, one I, think some, I don't I, I think because we're of the, the hype around Wrexham and where the cameras do <laughs> yeah us, so I think some players like, they just don't like it like they, they don't know yeah they're, 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 we, we play against a lot of people that yeah. rise to it like and they yeah. really want to beat us so what yeah. you saying like, they take it more personal because they if they get, get on the documentary for beating us yeah. and they get yeah. a bit of publicity it's great for them yeah. for something so what you're saying you're, you're you're bigger than than billy sharp and he's played in the premier league champion you're in the national league and he wants to beat you no, I'm not saying that at all. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying <laughs> that. You're saying he wants to beat you because you're a superstar now and he's not. Is that what you're saying? That, that's what it sounds like. No, it's not at all what I'm saying. That's, that's what it sounds saying. like. It's just attributing something that's completely out of context to 100%. A, a scapegoat, right? But have you, I've touched on it before, but have you found that when you are going away or at home, these teams are really like trying to leave one in or just, or, or do you think it's like fair game at the moment in, in the games? Uh, yeah, I don't. I think... I think I think teams are rising. Yeah. They get, get, and they're getting 20, 30% better performances out yeah. of the team. Yeah. As a team. I don't, like finals, I, right? I don't like to always use that because sometimes it can be a cop out. You know, oh, it's, it's going to be a tough game because they're going to give an extra 20%. I'm sure these teams don't go to any other teams in the league to, to lose or draw. Of course. No, of course. Um, and they're going to want to win every game. I think maybe there's a little bit of an element of maybe it's a free hit, but that's because we're top of the league, not because of the documentary or not yeah. because of anything else that we're one of the best teams in the league by some distance with Notts County. And sometimes you do get some managers and clubs going, look, it's a free hit, go and enjoy it. We're mm. not expected to get anything out of the game. But again, it's like, I think it's things I'm around about. With all due respect to like other teams in the league, majority of them don't play in front of 10,000. So when they yeah, come yeah. to our place and it's packed out. It's a big it's occasion. It's similar to us, us going to Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah. We played in more front of people in front yeah. of more people and it might raise our game a little bit and that's why we took Chef U so far yeah. do you know what I mean yeah. so. what was it like having that FA Cup run because obviously you got to the fourth round against Chef and then you had Coventry the, in the well, third you, round you well, scored course, well, yeah. what was yeah. that like like for it's a great the fans it's a cross it's a cross it's a cross <laughs> it's a shot, <laughs> it's a shot. It's a shot. <laughs> what was it like like for the fans for the for the town like was, oh, it was there a buzz yeah. like the whole place was just mad like the Coventry away game that was one I won't forget because the atmosphere is unreal was, yeah, yeah. we was, took 5,000 fans that that's nuts yeah. yeah. wow. I think it was better than the Sheffield United the Coventry manager said like it's the best away following I've ever seen yeah it's probably better than Sheffield United game just because the away fans are split in two tiers at Sheffield yeah right at Cobb they were all together and in louder. it was bouncing yeah yeah, yeah. So playing towards them second half at First Cobb half. yeah so when we yeah. scored the most goals we scored oh, no, we we in front of them all of them, like, three of them I think were in front of them that's right? class and then Mole's got the, uh, the pen, the pen in the yeah. Yeah. In the speaking of Paul Mullen he's got a back heel well we don't know yet a back heel goal <laughs> recently he's got a brat trick so brace hatch. What, what's what, what's the what's the lowdown? Was it his? Was it? You'd have to ask him. I'm not commenting. He said uh, his effort was on goal. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's on target, off target. He was attempting. No, because it was on goal. He was attempting. <laughs> he was attempting to score a goal, regardless of what happens after that. But isn't it a case of if it's on target, it's yours? So that's where it's dubious. Yeah. Yeah, that's the well, dubious panel. Because that's the dubious panel. I want him to win golden boots, so we don't want to get it taken off him. Yeah. I think he's had an effort on goal. Yeah. If it was going to go a millimetre Strike wide, union, I was right? there to tap it in. If yeah. it was going to sneak in. It's not like he was have... trying to pass to someone else. Yeah. No, it's definitely... So he's attempt actually attempting to, to score yeah, a yeah. goal. It's deflected and gone in. Yeah. So the defender don't want the goal. Yeah, why not just give it? <laughs> yeah, that is true though. The defender doesn't want the goal, yeah. and he's had an attempt, regardless. Of, yeah, you know, but we'll give it. We'll give we'll it. Give him the hat He's got the ball anyway. Well so done, really got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're currently five points behind Knots, two games in hand. Yeah. What's the atmosphere like in training? Like when you go to the ground, are you feeling that you know you're quite clear of third place? But obviously, there's only one automatic spot. What's it like yeah. around the stadium and at training right now? Like, do you, can you believe it? Are you feeling it? Yeah, yeah of course. It's lesser, isn't it? like, nothing's really changed. Like, we're just like a load of big kids together, yeah. having a laugh. It's such a good change, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's, like, it's a great group of lads. Yeah. And listen, it's there's two top teams that are fighting for top spot, and I think a record amount of goals are going to be scored for the league. I think both teams are going to get a record amount of points for the league, and one one of them is not going to go up. Um, but all we can do I know it sounds really generic but all we can do is focus on what we're doing yeah. and 
um, you know, it, you've got to be respectful to Notts County and, you know, they're doing fantastic as well. Yeah. So I think it's really exciting, especially from a neutral point of view, but we're just focusing on ourselves. Do, and Does this show how hard it is to, like, get out of, like, national football? Well, like, to, this time like, last one, season... One automatic spot. This time last season, we'd be promoted in about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So... I think they worked yeah. out that we'd be about 17, 18 points clear if it was this stage last season. Really? Wow. Yeah. And that would have been the same since December. We would have stayed like 20 well, points clear. What did the, the, the Lions get? What did you get last year points total? Only like 89? Yeah, something like 78 that. 78 now. There's a lot, a long, a long way to but, go. Yeah. But surely, even finishing second in the manner that you would, no. that's, that's enough confidence. No. to really, you just no. go to top. Did you go talking about the playoffs? Yeah, yeah that's enough confidence for the playoffs. Yeah, no. Mate, play, I swear, well, playoffs really is like you don't think that you're yeah, it is a loss, it, isn't it? It's, 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 it's like any cup competition. It's a cup competition. Yeah. competition. It's yeah. a separate competition, and you know we found out the hard way last year don't want to be in the playoffs if we have to go into the playoffs and do it that way obviously we'll go and give it everything yeah, yeah. And we'll, we'll obviously be confident but let's just get automatic so yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's, win yeah let's just I'd, keep I'd say one of the best things about our dressing room and our team is that we don't actually realise that we're on a good run or anything we just go like it is one game at a time we yeah. don't actually yeah, go yeah. oh we haven't lost in 20 or whatever we don't think about it it's no, not something that's no. talked about so we just go right next game then let's yeah. just crack on what do we need to do to get a result yeah and that to be fair that and even the manager doesn't let us sit on a win, mm. you know. No. Get ready for next one. And he makes it clear nothing's standing in our way. And, <laughs> and that's obviously the main goal. We are expected to get promoted. Um, and ideally, we would do it through automatics because oh, playoffs is a... I think that's where this year's mad because I don't think I've even... I, when I was at Luton, we won the league, but I was saying the other day, like, even if we draw again or we draw a home game, it feels like the worst thing in the yeah, world. Like, yeah. Every yeah. point matters. Literally, literally every yeah. game, you have to win. You have to win. You have to yeah. win. It felt like that around the whole town, though. Like we drew, we drew our first game in over a year. We won ten out of we won ten out of eleven. One, We've won every draw. home league game yeah. in over a year, yeah. and we just drew our first game. It's the first game I've ever drawn since playing for Wrexham last Sunday in mm. February, uh, January, at home. Yeah. Fe at home. Yeah, and, but and then it just felt like even in the change room it felt like a lot. Yeah. It felt like we just got slapped three 0 Lads were fuming, but that's mm. just what we built. That's yeah, what like everyone's built. That's what the club's yeah, built. Yeah. We we found a little stat out about you actually recently. <laughs> um, it's on my phone though, which is currently recording. But it's something like you've never lost. Or you've only drawn once yeah, at the race. Course. Yeah, that Woking game. Yeah, that was it. That yeah. Woking yeah, game yeah, night, yeah. in over a year. So, but it. It's just one of those things. We had to pick up on our waveform. So it was our waveform. If we had a slightly better waveform, probably at the start of the season, and even then, our waveform isn't that bad. <laughs> but it's just, it, the competition is so high of Notts County. So it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's just, it's just trying to strive for perfection, and it's hard, but... It's giving me Man City Arsenal vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, what it's, like. <laughs> it it's not it? though because Man United are in that, and they're, they're like, oh yeah, but they're yeah, but they yeah. <laughs> Please don't tell me Man United can't win the league because they really can. No, I know, but they're, they're what five points behind right now. Five they've, points. They played two extra than us, I believe. Yeah, and also you're forgetting that Arsenal are going to win the league, so it's actually impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually impossible for Man United to win the league. <laughs> yeah. And Arsenal have a game in hand. Game in hand. Say that again. So How many? Eight points. Five points. Have they got to play Arsenal? No, we've played no, them back played twice. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you beat us. Yeah. Can they beat us twice? twice. <laughs> we won at Emirates, didn't we? Three, two, three, one. So you think you just lose one game and they're two points behind you and just, it's <laughs> just not about the points, it's about the pressure. Arsenal City have got to play each other again as well. Yeah, so it's such, actually, a game, yeah, yeah. Such, a, oh, such a big game. Such a big game. That's just as big for Man United as it is them two. Yeah, that's exactly that. Yeah. If they draw, it opens the door, doesn't it? You know, I don't, you know, I don't. And speaking of Arsenal, obviously, Mark, you started at Arsenal mm. and back oh, in don't oh, get started. in the 16th century. I think <laughs> oh, five. <laughs> long time ago. Long <laughs> time ago. Do, who was at the club at the time? Did you? Who did you play with in Gunnar the youth? Dinosaurus Rex. That was about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's an absolute legend as well, yes. by the way. Uh, the, my youth team was littered with like some of the best players that I can name. It's ridiculous. Please, can you name some? <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah, Seth Fabricas was <laughs> one of the We'll pick him up. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Does he know who you are, though? I've still. Uh, still uh, <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, we had uh, Johan Juru, Fabrice Mwamba, Nicholas Burton, Arturo Lucali. What was Fabregas like in training? Could you tell he was like, he was different gravy? From 15 years old, he was the only player you'd want to pass the ball to because he would never give it away. We so made his debut even 16, as a goalkeeper, I stopped kicking the ball out and we started playing football as a yeah. team because you gave it to him. Yeah. And everybody would just give it Is that why you can't kick it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the old age, that. <laughs> are there any players you boys have played already for? Fuck, you are good. Uh, Dimitri Pyatt. Bamiyang. Yeah. Wow. Bamiyang was pretty scary. Yeah. Where was it? Oh, played with. Where was it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> FIFA, was FIFA. Was he yeah. Well? Yeah. <laughs> so I thought you just said played with or against. Uh, with, uh, with, 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 with. No one great to be fair. Just <laughs> I never came for any top Premiership clubs, unfortunately. So I just come through the non-league system into League One. So sure, they're good players, though. There are some really good players that have obviously gone on to have good careers, but. Not like, not played with any Cesc Fabregas's or... What about, what about Pyatt? What's he like in training? Yeah, he was a joke. Um, there's always one thing I remember we did, like 11 v 11, and he probably took it around everyone. And he got to like, <laughs> he got to like just on the 18 yard box, but in the corner. And with his weaker left foot, he's dinked it over the keeper into the top corner. Everyone just stopped and just started clapping like that. But the whole train... Oh, you, know, you know he's done something yeah. good when the training stops. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Have you seen his, did you see his volley last year? Did that win Prince It should, if Marseille. No, like from Marseille. Is it from, from the corner? From the corner. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. We went through that period of scoring rockets free kicks. It's free kicks. Yeah. The one against win. Palace, you know, wasn't it? Was it okay, when it went yeah, up when it goes like Palace. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Palace was still an optical too, illusion. Right, yeah. Speaking of free kicks, we've got a question. <laughs> Obviously, you've filmed with Chris. Yeah. yeah. You know, he, he thinks he's the bollocks at free kicks. He is good. He's all right. Unfortunately, when I did free kicks with him, the standard was actually a joke. You, yeah, he took, he, you know, he came back and he was like, I just took Ollie Palmer to clean. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you little midget. <laughs> but he came back and he was like, that's one of the best shoots I've ever he, performed. He, yeah, so yeah. I think we took, in total, six. I scored four or five and he scored six. Or yeah, is that yeah. seven? He missed yeah, one yeah, and I missed. We had a decider. Very close, yeah. The standard was a joke. Yeah. Is he is good kick. at free yeah. kicks. No, he is good at free kicks. I should be on free kicks. Free kicks. Free kicks. I should be on free kicks. This is what I'm saying. Who, who have you seen the YouTube video? Joke. Not The standard it. was a joke. I just don't take him from six foot five. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd have chomp on him before. No, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what I'm, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> but the world's seen it on YouTube. Yeah. Free kick challenge for Wrexham amongst the players. That's the next this step. I'll have a free kick competition with you next week. And I want it filmed. Hundred percent. All right, cool. Fifty quid. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see the results in this because YouTube get retakes, and this one we can't have retakes. Yeah, thank you. No, there was no retakes with Chris and. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. one oh, thing no, annoys no, me. No, 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 that's the one. No, I know he does. Promise. No, but that's what I'm saying. The one thing annoys me about Chris MD video is that it's yeah, just yeah. he doesn't fake it. It's like what you doing? Yeah, if, if you turn up and you're shot for like three shots, that's you're out in yourself. Yeah. I don't care. Someone there was shit. Who did, now, oh, I took Freezy. He took Freezy. Freezy yeah. yeah, he took Cal. Cal, yeah. Freezy. He Cal was there. Freezy. He was Cal just there for morale. He yeah. was great. <laughs> He's there for a laugh. Yeah. Question is, it's the 90th minute. It's Old Trafford. No, it's not Old Trafford. It's the 93rd minute against Greece. No, it's not. Sheffield it's away. the last minute <laughs> Sheffield against away. Sheffield United. <laughs> 93rd minute, just outside the penalty box. Who in world football, they could be Past present. dead. They could be alive. Oh, Who are you putting yeah. on the free kick? Ward Prowse. All day. Really? Really? That's like, that's like a pen for him. But, but no. pressure. No. Putting, but, but is it, is it quite... has got to get a mention. No, do you know what? He's actually not as good as uh, what... Uh, but to handle, handle the pressure. Is so, I, yeah, think, I know he is, but to handle the pressure. Beckham's free kick like, ratio. Beckham's free kick ratio games. is like 10. Don't in, think so, yeah. But I don't think he's taken as many free kicks. I think go. his ratio's... But also, how do you conclude when it free kicks? Is it a crossing free kick? Is it a shooting free kick? But has Ward Prowse done it in the biggest stages? He hasn't. No, but he still does it under high pressure. He's not the chance to do the biggest He's not had the chance. Yeah, is that? What about, um, do you remember that Leon fella? Janine Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd put him on one as well. Say that. Say that name again. Janino Pernambuco. <laughs> sure, that was his name. Just Janino. Yeah. So you're putting more Prowse. More Prowse, oh yeah. Bex. Bex, yeah, just to handle that pressure. Mate, yeah, 93rd minute Old Trafford. Woo -hoo. 
just whips it. You know what? I actually saw a stat the other day. I think it's Pele. So I'm going to go Pele. I think it's got Pele had the second best ratio ever. And the guy who was first. He probably made up that stat himself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pele, Pele. So are they including training free kicks? No, nah, honestly, it's going to be. It's <laughs> including really his goals. Yeah. It's hard though. because How far do you take ratios? Because if someone had took two free kicks and scored Both. two of them, then you'd be like, my ratio is a joke. Mm. so it's like how many where do you set the limit you have to take but that's why you, you get to, to pick I think there's level I think like say it's different but Chris is great at free kick Chris MD YouTuber but he, could he do it in front of 80,000 no, people his legs would go there's no way well do you know what I was watching he went to Arsenal didn't he yeah and yeah, he was with Arteta Arsenal. I think or some other or some of the Arsenal lads and I thought do you know what that was, it's a little bit nerve wracking. You were in that him. video for you. Uh, that was my video. No, no, no. Wait, <laughs> there was another <laughs> time. Was, talk, no, was it inside with JJ? He, was it in the dome or yeah, outside? Yeah, you're talking about with. I think uh, it was in the dome. Yeah, uh, and the and do you know what? Well. Doing that in front of that caliber of player yeah. is probably a little bit intimidating for a YouTuber. And he was. It's not that he scored every one, but he was still going free. He wasn't going mm. safe with his free kicks. Mm. He was still whipping the life out of it. Yeah. So I actually watched that full fair play. Last, well, me and Chris did it in front of Arteta, and ooh, Chris bottled it. Oh, did he? He bottled it. Oh, okay. I, I, need, that I need to watch that. But I mean, 93rd minute packed crowds. I had it. People. I had it in front of 30,000. Yeah, you did it in a yeah. charity match. I got it on target. No, you fucking get That's the ball impressive. back to the keeper. That's oh impressive. I got it on target. It was how you got it on target. My face had not saved anything all game. No offense, my face. He had not saved anything. And I thought, you know what? I'll get this on target. And he parries out. No, do you know? The ref had a walk for a back pass. You're not allowed to pick them up. I had five minutes of cramp in my calf. And I got up and took a free kick in the night. No, 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 I know On this, target. I'm out you here because we've got a close relationship. You said you didn't go for it, you just went and played safe. I said, I'm getting this on target, yeah, but that's not parry. That's, that's not the parry. mentality for and he, for a minute free kick. He parried it away from the players. That's you never went the, so you, safe. Bro, that's not the side you go for free kicks that's anyway. Nerve. That's the nerve. That's yeah, the nerve. Yeah, 2.1 million live viewers. Yeah, that's what you And I was there like, oh no. Oh shit. So you actually go and walk us over Bex? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I love Bex. He's like, oh, I idolise him. Mix as well, no? What, well, well, the the in terms of mentality, free kicks. Oh. He's done it. Just Roberto because Carlos. of the he's high pressure moment. I think Bex for high pressure. High pressure moments. You just yeah, think I'm of saying Bex Man United, Champions League, like that, man. World right. Cups. Do you what think context are you talking about? Are you talking about... I said 93rd minute, Old Trafford. World Cup final. Against Sheffield United. Well, I'm going yeah, back in. Yeah, I'm going back in. Pirlo. Pirlo. How many times Bex have done that? Messi. Wait, yeah, no one said Messi. I was going to say Messi, but I went But it depends. If you're talking about, is it a Premier League game, then you probably go Ward Prowse. Is it an international final? Back, okay, like, what yeah. about like dead straight against Portsmouth <laughs> at Fratton Park? Me. I <laughs> know, I know where you're going. Oh, Cristiano. Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo? Yeah. Against Portsmouth. It's the, it's the if it's against Portsmouth it? against at Fratton oh. Park. Oh, you know what? Speaking of. Is that when he smacked yeah, it? From, like, yeah, one of the best oh, free kicks yeah. ever scored yeah. in the history. Well done for joining yeah. in that combo. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of it, Charlie, you, you, I said if you put me up front for Manchester City, maybe I'll get eight goals if I'm zoned in, like Star Trek beamed into like the position of Erling Haaland. Yeah, yeah. You said 20 you for said you. said 20. Yeah, yeah, no, no, by the way. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 I'm sticking with it. Let me finish, right? <laughs> what? Let so, me talk. No, 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 because I won't get a word in with these fell <laughs> Oh, he said, I've had a word with this one. I've had a thought, no, it's, it's 25. You no, tried no, to bring this up the other day. Oh, on no, <laughs> Hang on, you was agreeing with me. No. You were. Not you. You were agreeing with me, you were. Because you were. <laughs> if he was on pens. No, no, no. Maybe if I was on pens as well, but I said, pen no pens. Said I, yeah. <laughs> but listen, what well, the point is, I'm not saying it about myself, just myself. I'm putting the majority of League One, League Two players in Man City's team, not Chelsea's, not Man United's, not Arsenal's, just Man, Man City's City. team. The way that they dictate games and smash teams with 10 men, not even 11 men, the amount of chances they create and tap ins. I think you can put in most strikers and they would get 20 goals. They're not all tappings. No, they're not. All a lot of them are. No, they're not. All no, no, no. no. They, 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 they create so many tappings for their strikers six yards out. They create so many. <laughs> So many. So many. <laughs> and you're, you're you get more. Get you know one of me. I've got eight. And he's got five. But yeah. I think I think a lot. Of, I think if you went in a private room, just you two, 
And you went and asked most strikers, look, if you, you know, if you went in Man City's team, do you think you score goals? They'd be like, yeah. yeah. I'm just brave enough to sit on a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet if you went and spoke to other centre halves that play in League Two, League One, and you go, oh, do you reckon you could do a job in Man City's team at centre half? They'll say, yeah. And they go, yeah, yeah I could. Yeah, of course, more, I could slide doing in. Doing a job, scoring 20 goals a season. Yeah, but it's Premier only League. in Man City's. <laughs> it's only no, but it's not. It's doing your job, isn't it, as a striker? No, that, you're saying doing a job. doing your job. So yeah, you could maybe chuck right, centre half in Man City, it. and you could get a clean sheet because he, he won't have to do much. But you're saying you only get 20 goals a season in the Premier League. They're pretty leaky. Yeah, because moment, they create so many chances, mate. They create so many tablets. I'm just picturing now how many open goals Raheem Sterling's missed for Man City. Yeah. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's why he's so yeah, fast he to, to get in. Nah, 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 nah. You take a parachute off, you might. No, 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 no. They're, they're tappings and he misses fuckloads of them. Okay, uh, let's re engineer the question. How many does Harlan get at Wrexham? <sighs> Christ, oh, it's tough down here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, not many. Five. <laughs> well, I want four. He's a fuck off. Um, nah, do you know what? he could even forty. Uh, yeah, more because of the way he's built as well. More. What's, what's, what's the national Massive. league record? More. What's the national league record? I don't know. Record? Probably, it, probably it, quite high. Yeah, because yeah. if you're in the top have, team, yeah. you're in the top team. Like it would be bully look. defenders. He'd get a goal yeah, a game bully, minimum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he could get fifty goals. Yeah. All right, but how many goals do you think he'd get in in uh, Maidstone's team? I think he'd still do well. No, but seriously, I'm being. It wouldn't be as many as our team. No, of course, and that's my point. It's about chance creation ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's all I'm saying. So get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Took that personally. Hello. What about you? Up. Well, midfield for Man City. How many you, goals did I get? And well, what would you Don't shit yourself because I know if we was in a room on our own, you'd be like, I could, I could slide in there. I yeah, could slide in the ten. You got to get the ten dog. That's what you're yeah, saying. Get me the sausage roll, mate. Yeah. 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 You replace KDB. Right. Yeah, as a false nine last season. You, you're, 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 you're feeding. <laughs> you're feeding the. You're feeding the robot. The robot's getting fed. He's getting fed balls. What podcast is this? <laughs> how many are you feeding and scoring? I don't know. I find it hard to. Compare myself to someone like Katie. Shit house. That's a humble <laughs> oh, man. Shit house. That's a humble <laughs> man. I'm, shit trying to, I'm trying to be realistic. How many, chances would, you, players. How many chances would you well, create in Man City? League. League. Yeah, but we're just dreaming it. Just answer but the question. These are the Premier League players. It's not just about, oh, I'm going to get loads of the ball. Like oh. KDB, like the technique and the vision he has is unbelievable. Of course. Remember the goal. Which I don't have. Do you remember <laughs> that goal ha Harlan scored at the start of the season where KDB's like curled it and Harlan's like stretched yeah. fast? It's like 99, isn't it? Was it Yeah. He's a different player. Yeah. He's a completely different player. It's ridiculous. Can, why don't you go with a, like another player, Christian? <laughs> Somebody like Kevin De Bruyne. Are there, are there any players yeah. at Wrexham that would translate well to the Premier League? Has he? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Just for clarification, I've said I wouldn't do it in Man United's team. Yeah. I wouldn't do it in Chelsea's or Arsenal. How many would you get in Man Houston? I now? think seven, eight, seven, eight on pens. Seven, eight. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, I would. I rate, you know what? I rate it. But that, that's Ray, again. Oh, put me in Southampton. Put, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. put me in Southampton's team. Probably zero. You'd be defending. For, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, just, that's just my opinion on it. So, and I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about most strikers in Man City's team. Well, if you could create the perfect striker, and you've got to choose between we got finishing, movement, mentality, and composure. Tottenham have got him. Harry Kane. Yeah. Tottenham have got him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, well, well, shout, okay, we've got to pick one attribute from one player each yeah. then. You can't just pick Harry Kane. A world, a world football. football. Finishing. Finishing. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. What, what was the other? Harry Kane got finishing, again, movement, mentality, composure. Yeah, I would probably say Harry Kane. Harry Kane finishing. Harry Kane, finishing. Kane. yeah. Okay, joking. different player in world football. For movement. Harland could be up there. He's powerful, isn't he? Like, just is the movements not he necessarily well, sharp he? and secretive. Yeah, like, he, he just comes in, he goes, bang, he's gone. Yeah. Ronaldo, his timing Ronaldo, yeah. into a box is a joke. R well, nine, yeah, oh. or R nine proper. R nine, <laughs> yeah, he's the goat. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. well didn't we say currently playing? Current, oh, current player. Current player. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's getting back? Getting back. You've got to say Haaland really for movement, yeah. Haaland movement, yeah, yeah. Next shots for Mbappe. Well, his movement isn't necessarily like speed. anything. Yeah. Or Haaland's speed. Yeah, we can. I will throw speed in there. All right, we'll give that to him back. He's just, 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 he's just,
mentality. Oh, that's a good one. No, sorry, Harlem for movement, mentality. Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you could argue. I think every pro that's ever played with him has said it's ridiculous. Mm. He just is a winner. The Seeing longevity winner. and what he's done to his physique, yeah, the consistency for that long. But apparently, tra great. like transforms dressing rooms himself as well, right? Uh, like, well, he says exactly. you're not allowed to eat brownies. Mate. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No brownies, no dessert. <laughs> yeah, you, I don't think you could argue. No, you can't question his mentality. Done. It's ridiculous. And uh, uh, final bentoza. <laughs> <laughs> If that to take fines, Ben told you. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one, composure. Messi just, Messi I don't think anything phases him. The way he slows the game, yeah. dribbles past someone yeah. and slots it. And you think is, who would you want going through one on one, last yeah. minute penalty? Composure that penalty he took in the World Cup, yeah. mate. He just passed it in the other way. Who's the most complete striker? Thierry Henry. Currently playing. Oh, Harry Kane. Kane. Yeah, Harry Kane. really? Yeah. yeah, I would say most Harry complete Harry Kane over Killian Mbappe. Yeah, yeah. complete striker. Sure Mbappe, yeah. You can do everything. Oh. Yeah, Mbappe. Uh, Kane's got a better ball for me. Like, so who would you, you rather and... someone dropping deep and picking out a, a yeah. diag? But I've got Mbappe to stretch no, you didn't the play. My question. I've got Mbappe <laughs> stretching the play instead. <laughs> no, what is Harry Kane going to stretch the play? Yeah. He can. He's yeah. not. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a quick but He does stretch the play. He does come short. I watched a TikTok. <laughs> That's not great. Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never a good sense. Ball knowledge. <laughs> but it was the way Mbappe, he pick, sometimes, a lot of times he picks up the ball. Rather than taking it as a first touch, he rolls, his first touch is a ball roll. So he collects it under his studs, right. which puts the defender on the back foot where he can go left or yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Kane could do that. That's a I think shot. Kane... Because <laughs> <laughs> he put the ball in his studs. Come on. Wait, you're saying this TikTok isn't true? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've created our perf uh, perfect striker. Uh, I want to touch on something that Wrexham might be uh, playing in their million pounds tawny. Mark, do you want to explain what it is? It's uh, an over guess. 40s no. football comparison <laughs> for Mark <Martin> Howard. <laughs> no. Uh, there's like a... A seven-side world tournament going on in America, in North Carolina. Uh, it's a TST tournament. A one million pound winner, I think. One million. One million dollar winner yeah. for the winner. Uh, so Rex that goes to charity. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. So Rex have got. Oh, a it goes team. to charity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag I've got a team. Uh, Wolves, I think Wolves are entering a team. Dempsey, team Dempsey, Clint man. Dempsey's got an yeah. MLS All Star team. They're going to look to really break through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I got asked. Yeah, I was gonna. This is what my, my question was. I was gonna take the floor away and ask you who the perfect YouTube seven team is. I thought, is. The, I thought Ooh, you got the million dollars. So I was meant to put a team for it, but I'm actually not available on the dates. I thought, wow, wait, so you, what an investment because it's expensive wait, so to go win, in, but wait, you win a mil if you win it. But it goes to charity. Why no, 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 Oh, so you're oh. looking even worse now. <laughs> yeah, so you're just a real so bad person. So you could keep it if you'd want. <laughs> so but if you, if, if you keep it, you look like a knob. So yeah. now you're available for those dates. <laughs> nah, I'm not. No, actually, I, I'm wanted actually not you, I wanted you to put forward a similar side team, a YouTube similar side so team. So what would my team but be? But my, 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 it could go to everyone else here if, if you guys uh, keep up to date with YouTube football. But... I don't know if that's... They'll be relying on me for these answers. Yeah, so that, that's what I meant. Like, you can create it as the floor or... I've well, I, I, I seen Chunk score an unbelievable... It's a Chunk Chunk score. Chunk score. Chunk score. Yeah. Pretty hard. Scream at Unsavable as well. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. There's some but good players out there. Chris fair. MD. The only one Chris I MD would be good. I love him. I really at the back. Oh, he would... Oh, is he the guy that does all the questions yeah. to people? He scored a worldy he's goal as well in the cyber match. match. So I was hoping to bring some ringers in for my team rather than just YouTube. Get Ben Foster in goal. Does he count? Is he allowed? He's a YouTuber. But I feel like it's a cheek. Right. You know what? All right, fine. You can pick up everyone. Then you can have whoever Ryan you, Tappagalli whoever you, as well. All right, you can so just then, have a pro team. Oh, wait, so seven aside, yeah, the, you got the team is, one. The, well, the formation is, is two, yes. three, one. All right, so big yeah. John's in goal. <laughs> I'm putting Ben Foster in goal. Sorry, John. I thought you couldn't do that. What? I'm bringing him in. Do it once. I can do it. I'm about to win a mil. That's also your question. Yeah, I'm going to win. So I'm going Ben Foster in goal. So I'm going two, three, one formation at the back. I'm going to put Philly in defence. I feel like it'd be ball carryable and seven aside. You want him next to him. I'm going to put Harry Panero. Rock at the back, one of the best players. Did you, did you guys watch the yeah. Cyber match? He was one of the best players. He was very, very good. Uh, the midfield three, 
of Chris MD pulling the strings. On the left, we're going Toby. On the right, we're going me. Because I want to play in my play own team. Manager. I'm playing manager. You're yeah. going to drag yourself if I'm you're playing I'm not a good manager. I'm, just going, I'm going to be Egg the Davids. I'm in there. I'm putting myself in. I'm putting myself in. <laughs> He's a lovely fella as well. Really nice guy. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, up front, obviously, we've got to put Mr. Hatchet Kira himself, Mr. Simon Mini Minta. Harry yeah. Panera over me. Uh, oh. Oh. You're, you're, you're first sub. You're there for first you're, 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 I kept a clean sheet in that You're physiotherapist. Match. Physiotherapy. I have just set up a YouTube account as well, by the way, so can I be on the bench? Well, if Ben Foster's going, then yeah, play up front, mate. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? All right, good. Thank but you. only like last 10 minutes so kind of vibe, because I don't want to get subbed off okay. myself. You ain't got a YouTube video, don't count. Yeah, You've no, but I've just set up, a, I've just <laughs> up a YouTube count. account for me and my son, who's a joke at football, by the way. Really? Yeah, Mr. Palmer and son, that's called. I'm going to see some challenges soon. This is where we get all our <laughs> shout outs. Do you, uh, no, no. do you want to watch one? Do, I'm going to show you one of the videos in a minute. Do you, do yeah, you, think, you know this tournament, yeah? Do you think you're going to see Ryan and Rob, you know, lacing their boots? Make their debuts? It's possible. That's, it's possible. I think you can bring in as many ringers as you want. You're say, clearly doing it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're free to up, who, are you bringing them on? Wait, is there a manager how, for this? Or how, you... how long's left in the game? Five minutes, and it's a 20 minute match. Uh, Wrexham's manager's there, Dave Jones. He's going to play player manager. Okay, for the tournament itself. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. you're, not, you're not fans of the tournament? No, you have to be really old to play in that thing. <laughs> 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 only, only he's eligible. That's, like, that's why he got asked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm God. younger than you. Yeah, it was, oh, oh, hello. He's five. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Project Solid Project, Project, Project Palmer Pension You know what actually Speaking of Project <laughs> pre, Speaking of Project Palmer I don't know if you guys saw We got Ollie to uh, Do a celebration When he yeah. Scored oh, yeah. we You didn't see it through. Don't yeah. ask him to do it what again. Was it? it took we a while did, We did, said away Yeah, yeah, yeah. it did take a while yeah, Well a while. Uh, but you We did had it. cup games So I had big gaps <laughs> in between I, think I only actually had two league games To be fair And so I had to do it um, It was this P Is that Sean Can you do it properly Please no, do it properly. Do it properly. Get out of the chair. Get out of the chair. Come on. You asked me to do it. Yeah, he did the proper one. Which <laughs> <laughs> related really well because yeah, obviously Palmer. Palmer. Palmer pitch, pitch side. side. Um, I think we should come up with a new celebration. For if either of you score, and Mark, if you keep a clean sheet. This <laughs> 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 is the end of the game, guys. So there's going to be no celebration there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you got anything in mind? Anything that swings <laughs> we're mind? We're surely we have we have to. We have a little brainstorm idea. I've got a really good one for real. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 always works, mate. Always works. Can you show him that? Wait, what is that? Can you show him? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's really bad. Here. Wait, 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 is it like this? Is it? What sort of PG viewing do you have? There is, is no PG. No. Okay, let's see it then. Nothing's off limits. Nothing. You're coming to the game in a few days, aren't you? Yeah. Why don't pitch side? As we a come celebration. on. Oh yeah, we just run on. Just run on. <laughs> will we get <laughs> majors? Will, will we get kicked out the ground? Or we join you? Absolutely. Pitch, yeah. We join you pitch side in the celebration. Can, is that possible? Are we allowed to do or that? We can all do the P together. If, if, if you're like four nil up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can run on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have to do the hum. hum. But when you get kicked out, I'm still so you interested know in this, by the way. Three, two, one. Yeah, you have to come save us. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna end it. Okay, I do actually. I'm being serious. So serious. Though. I want to see the hum. Wait, I've just, 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 just got this. I've just got this image. I've just got this image of Al scoring it, and he's just like stood in the corner. He's going. <laughs> Don't work out what he's doing. Wait, that actually did happen. He had to do the Sony celebration. We did the Sony celebration. Oh, I made a hash of that. Oh, they couldn't do it. Yeah. I, think like... that. I think that's another reason why Billy Shutt was annoyed because it's the club photo. posted that photo we did the Sun celebration we found out months ago Sun's a welcome to Wrexham fan, fan. really and yeah Big he loves Wrexham the show Big... really so yeah. wow that's cool. who did you find out through yeah, one of the so friends with Tom Lockie who plays for Wales and they're oh. at the World Cup <laughs> and he's mates with good mates with Ben Davies and Ben Davies asked Tom if we could send Sonny a video. Sonny, you know him, do you? Shout out, Sonny. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so that so happened. That's why we did the celebration. So we did the celebration. We made a hash of it. We made a right no, hash of it. No, I got it right. You, you got, got it right. right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a diamond. Yeah. 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 Got caught up in the moment. But anyway, I think the club posted that photo 
Once the draw came Once out. Once the draw came out. I then, this, is, this can be the only logical explanation. Then the club post that, saying that we're going to play Tottenham in the next round if we win. Of course you would. You would post yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah, general yeah. knowledge. That's yeah. good social media admin. Well, yeah. yeah, it's just Correct. normal. This is who we would draw. Yeah. Whoever it was. <laughs> yeah. In whatever round. And then I think he, Billy Sharp must have thought we've done that celebration like oh, that as weekend as we're going to be thinking yeah, you've yeah. already oh, must have oh, oh, that, that is the only logical thing yeah, I think yeah. of. Because he did criticise the social media team yeah. at the club in his second interview. He's criticised everyone, isn't he? I don't know. He's, He's come for people. He's come for you. Look, it, it's all right. Billy, we forgive you. <laughs> in terms of ownership, how are like all of your experiences with Robin and Ryan? You spoke about it originally. Mm. you got a little group chat going on, you? you little what's yeah. that? Yeah, no, they're both great. They're is both there a midfielder's group chat? No, I'm yet to make it. <laughs> oh, no. But, um, <laughs> but no, no, he does. Like Ryan, Ryan mainly will text after games, like and speech here and that. But um, yeah, so it's, they're, they're class too. So. They're brilliant. The first time that they phoned or Rob phoned me, I was driving home. Obviously, I live in Preston, so I was saying I'm commuting home. Yeah, yeah. And a foreign number came up on the car, and I didn't want to answer it. But you know, you're thinking, ah, it could be. I've only just signed. Yeah, you don't be. know who it could be. So I've answered the call and it, I was like, this is defo banter. So Ryan's phone saying, hi, Mark, welcome to Wrexham. Like buzzing to join the club. And I went, nah, I'm not having it. Not having it. it was, you put, it was, you put it down? Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> Right, so then he then like he, he then went he then went it's definitely me, Mark. I just wanted to like say thanks for joining the club and that really excited to have you here. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not having it. I said you need to be able to prove it somehow. And I'm like, I'm. It's just it's his voice. <laughs> right, he must have went. Who was it, Rob or Ryan? Ryan? This is Ryan. And I was like, <laughs> but you know, when you're like, it's someone who's like easy him. stitching me up here. Mate, mate, I've what, played with a lot of people in football for who, what, hundreds who of years. Who in America's gonna think I'm gonna stitch up Mark Howard now? <laughs> right. yeah. Can Mark we go put an accent on? So then he went, oh wait a minute. And he went on social media, followed me. And I was like, oh, hi, Ryan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and went all fangirl there. That is so awkward. Oh, yeah, like, it, all, it, it sounds fucking friendless. awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> he, obviously, he obviously is a big time actor. So he has big time actor friends. How was uh, Will Ferrell? That was the best day ever on it. He, was so <laughs> he is a legend. He is I so funny, mate. So, <laughs> so funny. Oh, no. Well, he showed in the 3 2 celebration. I'm sat in the physio bed and got a whisper that he's coming, and I was like, my, I was like grinning. We're just both massive fans. Yeah. And then, so he's come in, like, and i like, just saying low, shook his hand. And then he comes over and goes, Oh, Will, do you, know, um, do you not recognise him from the set of Elf? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when Miles Finch, the little angry Elf. And, uh, so then Will Ferrell goes, Oh, yeah, I do recognise you. <laughs> and honestly, I got called like, I got called an angry Elf by angry a buddy elf. elf, and it's probably the best day ever. Oh, that is like, class. Uh, yeah. That's really cool. Before the game, we're just high fiving that yeah. we just, I've got a laugh out of Will Ferrell, and he took the piss out of him. Yeah, we were great. Buzzing. Honestly, the best thing. Yeah. Ever. But you've been at quite a few clubs, including West Ham. What's the ownership like here in compared to? The previous places you've been at, obviously for each of you, um, it's, it's like a unique ownership here, I'd say, um, especially because I was at Charlton last year, and that's a circus there with the owners. Really? Oh, circus! <laughs> so then, like coming here was just like like an unbelievable breath of fresh air, and, and like even more like to know have you got like the owners that care? They actually care so much. Yeah. I know some people from the outside think, oh, it's two American guys. <coughs> like, they're just having a bit of fun. It's all they're for show. Yeah, 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 it's not yeah. fun. What does that midfield a group chat? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ryan Rob Creek. Yeah, <laughs> um, but no, yeah, like you could, they, they actually love it. Like they don't, they don't have to. Like Ryan doesn't have to go out his way to text us after games. And Rob, Rob comes to a load of games. I think he comes to Eastleigh away. And... What are the chances that at the weekend they'll be there? We don't the ever know until the day of the game. Yeah, it? we're not. We're, listen, come on. Not, you need to text him right not, now. He's not my best mate. He's not my brother. He's not. He doesn't tell me his weekly schedule. But they'll, you know, they'll come when they feel ready. And they've obviously got a really busy schedule. So when they come, they come, and it's great when they do. You know, they. That's what she said. Yeah, they're making a. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice, perfect. <laughs> Play, play the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> that's not very good. That's a pretty good one. That's so, a good sound effect. <laughs> yeah, no, they obviously make a huge effort with everyone, um, and it's it is great when they come to the club and you know they, they catch up with everyone there, and and you know it's good for the fans. And well, it's good that they're but they're obviously like looking after the morale and stuff, but they're actually investing heavily into the club. You, look, you just got a new gym facility, didn't you? Yeah, we've got a new gym facility, which is unbelievable. Yeah. It's a state-of-the-art gym in the stadium. Um, and, they're, you know, they're doing everything the right way. They're, they're investing in the club. They're, they're helping grow it. Obviously, 
so much good comes from them but is there you know when the cameras are like around and stuff do you do because i know i've seen the arsenal players talk about that after the first couple of weeks they get used to it so through the prime stuff is are you used to it Does, is there like an added pressure do you like notice it in the corner of your eye or is it just you get on with it mm. uh, you, do, you, you just get used to it don't you like, yeah. it is, it like it is, it's, it's weird like you, you do could feel be in, it, yeah you could be in a physio it. room and then you're talking about saying yeah. that it goes on in physio rooms and yeah. then all of a sudden the cameras are there's a yeah. microphone over you yeah bang. And then you're like, yeah, you sort of adjust the conversation. Maybe. Yeah. But, um, not yeah. too much. Like, if you're asking if you notice two men with a huge camera, yeah. obvious. And then a big microphone. <laughs> and a massive <laughs> microphone. Just like the big fluffy microphone. Yeah, yeah but you just like. kind of get used to it. And, you know, they, they actually, they're really professional and they're, lov they're lovely guys. So they try and stay out of our way. Yeah. Um, it's hard though, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. Even in the physio room, it's quite narrow. So having three extra people in there yeah. while you're getting treatment or there's like lads in there and you're shuffling past the camera crew. It is what it is. You just, just get on with it. Yeah. I turned into the camera the other day in front of Will Farrell. We were in the hallway and I was saying bye to him. I turned around and the camera's right there and I just smashed my forehead. In the <laughs> that's when it's quiet in your face. Yeah, so that's that's, you've won the season. Yeah, we. <laughs> so, they're, yeah, they're, you know, they're always there, but you do get used to it. Might adjust a few conversations to make yeah. it a bit more appropriate, but more PG friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if um, hypothetically speaking, you were, let's say, like two or a pair of multi-million pound actors that own a football club, is there any player in world football that you'd like to play alongside you at Wrexham? Oh, what if? Ben. What if we could buy someone ourselves <laughs> yeah. and bring them to play with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. Who's playing now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just messy. You think Messi in National I would, League? I would, if I can pick a player and bring him over to Wrexham. Do you reckon he'd transcend well into well, it? You, if you just How's he going to cope with like a bobbling pitch? Is money no option? <laughs> Money's no, no option. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, get, him, get him in. You're basically asking who would you most like to play with? Obviously. Yeah, but that, that would be who, 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 would, who could slot in? Like, could, realistically, Lionel Messi is not slotting in at Wrexham. Well, obviously, but you. What's the? But could I think like would he get on with okay, boys? So, how could he deal with? Right, see, I think I think you, you go say I'm not playing, but like Stevie G, he will, on a bobbly pitch in Wales, he could do a job. Well, let's, I don't draw, think let's draw a medium. A let's draw a medium line for it. A person that would fit in well. And also, but uh, money no object. So you don't think Messi would so tear dragging, up the national? We're dragging league? professional no footballers. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. But that's not my decision. You don't think Messi would tear up the national league? Not particularly. Oh my god, god. But I'll, I'm not even joking. I think he oh get. I god. think he get bullied. No, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> no, no. Right, no. Name me a big you, centre you half. How people cannot get close to this guy. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter. They're but just going to foul him. If there's a mole him, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going to foul. This is a guy that's used to pristine flat football pitches. This is I'm the guy. Sure the best in the world. The pitches aren't. No, of course. But we're talking about Messi and the balls aren't. And you can dribble on this pitch. So if you can, Messi can. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's the centre half in the National League uh, that isn't playing for Wrexham? Um, Cordner, Tyler Cordner. We just played against it. Tyler Cordner. He's smashing Messi. <laughs> what? what? He, no. <laughs> Not in a weird way. <laughs> 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 Like like he's going That's through not Messi. what happens in a natural world. <laughs> <No, no, no. laughs> right, you're not allowed to pick Messi. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the school rules, isn't it? My ball. Yeah. You're not allowed to pick it. <laughs> so I think Thiago Silva slots in well. I'd say Van Dijk. He'd Rolls Royce this, mm. really, wouldn't he? He could play in every position. But that's what I mean. Like You've picked a yeah, person that picking? would be supporting you and a defender in front of Mark. It's a completely different question, isn't it? Yeah. But it's still Messi. You're basically asking what player... If you as a complete goal, package could go through the leagues <laughs> yeah who could go through the leagues Courtois with a, an effective with an, yeah. yeah so you're probably looking at like a robust hard working midfielder almost like a Kante or someone like that Rodri party Rodri someone like that that would take you through <laughs> the leagues by injured no he's back well but I mean he's We've just got come back Jimmy from injuries yeah he's got a great gym. Go, yeah. gym Thomas Party to Wrexham <laughs> James Paul Prowse <laughs> Prowse get him on the offering oh, kicks. No. He is pretty robust, to be fair. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he wouldn't have a problem because I feel like he's got the right mentality as well. Can and say. he won't get down when you see bubbles on the pitch. Jamie Vardy, he's been there, done that. Yeah, mm. another non-leaguer. Who else has made a problem yeah, from the non-leagueer? Yeah, that's a great point. Mm. Jamie Vardy. Must be Chris Smalling. Yeah. Someone who's, yeah. yeah he was, <laughs> All defenders yeah. going from... Well, <laughs> you know, another one. Yeah. Chris Smalling came from Maidstone, didn't he? Did he actually? Maiden head. Maiden, Maiden head. Oh, it could have been Maidstone. One of, one of the maids. Yeah, one of them. So obviously, we've done the dream, you know, attributes of a footballer. Let's do a goalkeeper. Mm. We've got... 
mentality, <laughs> reflexes, shot stoppings, and one v ones. One v ones, Alison all day. Yeah, There's I completely no agree. Better. Yeah. Could you guys be Alison in one v one? Shot stopping, I'd go Ramsdale. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say mentality, I'd go Ramsdale. Because you're not so going to <laughs> yeah, You have to pick one. Mentality or shot stopping Ramsdale, yeah. Well, you've got to pick one. To give shot stopping to Alison and mentality to Ram. But what about 1v1s? 1v1s, Alison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. But yeah, would you guys score against Alison though? <laughs> How many shots? 1v1. One one. You get five 1v1s. Yeah, I'd like to think I could score in a 1v1 against him. Not all of them. Can't say that, mate. So Alison one v ones mentality Ramsdale yeah Ramsdale reflexes oh he's got David de yeah, yeah. David de reflex <laughs> Edison distribution <laughs> yeah I think you would wouldn't it yeah who did you say he's about to say it distribution so. Edison yeah yeah easy yeah. Dish, really? Dish, yeah, yeah, it has to be. Edison. Yeah, he's, just, he's like a midfielder, Facts. isn't he? He's falling off a bit, though. Not distribution. No. No. His passing's not getting worse. His passing range is a joke. If he had Leroy Sane up top still. Yeah. He's got Erlen Haaland up front. Yeah, true. He does hit him a lot, though. Yeah. Still does, yeah. yeah. Do you think Haaland does enough in games in open play? Yeah. I think not, but... Yeah, you're looking at a player... That is, yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. that is, no, he's, he's, he's trying to kick him out classic. so he can yeah. take yeah. the spot. Yeah. Yeah. He's going for it. I, think he, should, I think he should be dropped. No, I'm <laughs> I, I, I personally think he does that. He, he does enough because of how he takes so much attention away from other players. Like, yeah, he's always yeah. being marked I by. I think they're still adapting to each two. other. But I just, I just think it's crazy that people think he doesn't do enough in games. Because there's some games where I, I think that he doesn't. Low block, I think he really struggles against. When he only scores two a game, that when he's not doing that. That's what I mean. If you're, go if you're scoring goals, I don't want to hear anything. Yeah, of course. But I'm well, mate, I said this about Ronaldo when he scored 20 plus goals for United. He's United's best player that's in there. Said, nope, he's the problem. Turns out he might have been. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, shot stopping was who? David De Gea. Yeah, I've got So we got 1v1's Allison, mentality Rambo, reflexes. David De Gea. David De Gea. Yeah, yeah. Distribution Shot Edison. Shot stopping David De Gea. <laughs> Shot stopping David De Gea. <laughs> Just get him back. Shot stopping. They're all the same thing. But no Courtois anywhere. Oh, it's hard. We don't see enough of them. Uh, One too many mistakes, yeah. some would say. One too many Just mistakes. Just don't see enough of them. Obviously, playing is fine. So. Yeah. Can you add in like a catch and cross this one? Oh, well, yeah. Box that's, command, that's I suppose. Yeah. Courtois does that for fun, mate. I hope he comes for the most amount of cross you've ever seen. Really? He also comes out of the box quite a lot. <laughs> 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 Isn't that right, Lewis? <laughs> Too soon. Sore subject. Yeah, Have you seen all the stuff about him, like going out on loan to Blythe and going out on loan and then Playing serving a, a one game suspension and then coming back? Yes, Where's I have. The, 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 yeah, the, the, Newcastle, the Newcastle fans uh, on the internet have come up with uh, a plan to allow Nick Pope to play in the Carabao Cup final. And or exactly the other one, said. which is probably not good, is to injure all the other goalkeepers. Yeah. Then legally he has, he to, has be to play. To play but is that not just like a disrespect to Laurius Carriers? Well, that actually right. works, and they're on loan, that can't yeah, 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 and then, yeah, and the then immediate and termination of the contract. Goalkeeper can stay there for that one game. Yeah, yeah. On but yes, he has to play the game. No, he can't, he's suspended. So he has, to, play, he has to serve suspended a suspended for somebody else. Yeah, in, in the domestic system. Theo, goalkeepers do emergency loans, so it's something yeah. that alpha players can't do. So you can go in for a game. But Blythe wouldn't be allowed to get an emergency loan, I'll tell you, so that's yes, why. They are. Yeah, no, because no, no, if their keeper's not injured, then they can't no, get an emergency loan. No, he is injured. But in the yeah. National League, you can sign whenever you want. Yeah, he yeah, could break his leg. So they uh, and, and I think that's where yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he got down to a degree where they were like working out the train times <laughs> of, of when he could travel. <laughs> if he gets in at two o'clock on on Sunday, that's yeah, because there was because the, there's only a few. Have you not seen it all on the internet? Yeah. 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 A lot of people had a go at me the other day, Mark. Actually, I want I want to get your two cents on this one. A lot of people had a go at me saying I said that Pope's handball was just instinct. He's just for a split second thought he was in the box and he's just gone like that. Do you think that's true? He's made a mistake, and that's all it is. Do you think it's just a bit instinct? Because he's nah, just like picked. I don't think so. so he's he done knows it whatever you're, whatever Take you're getting at. He knows he's yeah. not in the box. Yeah, yeah. So he does know that. So he does it on purpose. I've think. not even seen it, but he but, knows he's not in the yeah, box. Yeah. As a goalkeeper, there's like a split decision moment. Like it's so small way. And you either come split. out of the box and you could foul someone, get sent off. But if it's in your box, it's a yellow card and a penalty. So yeah, it, there's such a fine line with that new rule that you only yeah. get sent off outside your box and not in it. That might have been in his mind. I know he's well out of it this time. Yeah. But he said, you know that when you're falling, yeah, you, didn't just, you yeah. just... It's probably... A, it's it, that. Okay, before we finish, before yeah. we finish, 
Do you guys want to pick one of these out? It's called the boot, 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 boot. Oh, yeah, these, just, oh wait, they're the... Oh, they're right. the so how this course. works, we've got viewers and, oh, right. viewers and friends you. of the show uh, write down <laughs> footballing opinions that they believe. Yeah. In the past, we've had such examples as Kylian Mbappe will have a better career than Messi and Ronaldo. Oh, we've got some in here. Stupid. I did not write that. Do you, do you guys, uh, in the meantime, have you guys still thinking about them? Because I know you've not had long enough to think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to take one out and read it. Arsenal will win back-to-back -back Premier Leagues. Can I see the handwriting? Did you write this? <laughs> That's Lewis's That's writing. That's Lewis's handwriting. Yeah. But no, but it's, it's but don't, someone that wrote them all. Yeah, yeah. Who oh, was doing back to back Premier League? You know what? No, it's not possible. Then, but the youngest yeah, team yeah, in Premier exactly. League, this they can, they're yeah. only getting better. No, they are. But for me, I think Man City and Liverpool for the last kind of five, six years have found it extremely hard to do it. Just go and hammer and tongue at each other. And I don't think Arsenal, I know they've had a good season, but I don't think they're at that level. I know what yet. you're about to say. Other clubs I know what you're about to say. What? You think Manchester United are going to push for first This season. season? No, next year, next year. I think there's going to be four. Big players in that next season, yeah. And they are? City, Arsenal. Yeah. Man United. Yeah. Newcastle. It has to be Newcastle. Not Liverpool being back. And I, no, I think Liverpool will come back. So I maybe think Liverpool six. will come back. I think yeah, it's getting bigger, isn't it? Liverpool are getting battered at the moment. And I've, I've, it's football, isn't it? it like in. It's almost like it's on a rotator belt. It's yeah. just, it changes every kind of... It's like a sign. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to while you finish right now, thank you so much five, yeah. for yes. coming on. Obviously, Mark, you have a podcast as well. Yeah, yeah. yours, mine away podcast. Exactly. Feel free to check that out, Ollie. We're repping your your merch right now. Yep. Give us a little backstory on it. It's just my clothing brand that I've been building in the last year. Fucking good clothes. Get yourself involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not wrong. It's actually really comfortable. Having some clothing. You like it? It's comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, comfortable. It and it's. It doesn't need to be overly expensive. Forty pounds for that sweatshirt, bargain. Man. Light work. And Elliot, obviously, we need you both if you do score to do the hum. The hum. hum. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, drop a like. Where it's five stars on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Peace.